Hi there. Uh, I am making Rika ready for a convention. First, I check all the parts of her head. This ear seems to be fine, but this ear is very loose and I'm going to have to reapply some glue. Um, otherwise, teeth are all nice and strong, still in its place, so that's fine. Let's turn her over and check all the seams. Um, and they appear to be fine too, so I do not have to re-sew anything. So I applied some tape over here because I have to push my glue gun into this space and this space and if I touch any fur, the fur is ruined. Now make sure to- you can also use a p little piece of plastic band for this, uh, but if you do use tape, make sure it's one that is uh, one that peels off very easily so you don't damage the fur anyway. Okay, so I put glue on both sides of the ear now just holding it down so it's secure safely again. The ears are stuck on good, so now time to gently pull off the tape. As you can see, none of the fur really sticks to it, so it's nice and safe. Okay, I got a bit of soap that I'm going to use a little bit of to clean her back. Most of her face is pretty clean, but her back is a bit dirty. As you can see, or well, you can't see yet, but right there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of sand in it, uh, there it is. I always plug up the eyes. I always plug up the eyes with some toilet paper. Rika's eyes are waterproof, but just to be sure, I will still cover them up. Oh, look at this. Yuck. All sandy and dark. It's pretty scary to wash your fur suit, especially the first time, but I used some... It's not carpet cleaner. Um, it's for clothes, but it says it's uh, good for colored items. Um, so that's what I'm using to kind of try and get the stains out. I'm trying to wet the back a lot and then don't too much to the front because that one's pretty much clean. It's mostly the back because I always thoroughly clean the front of the face because that's kind of the first thing you see when you see Mizurika. But this time I'm focusing on her back. Okay, so now I'm just kind of blowing her dry and brushing her. I'm using a hair dryer, but make sure to... if. To check if your hair dryer has a cold button. That's really important because you cannot dry your fursuit with hot air because the fur will get heat damaged, which would be terrible. So it's getting nice and fluffy again, but most importantly clean. And she currently smells like carpet cleaner and lavender, which is an, a great combination. So here's the front of her, and this part is still wet, so I'm just going to blow dry it. Brush it through, blow dry it again, brush it through until she's completely dry and in the original state that she was before she got wet at all. And I'm happy with how this turned out because I was using a different type of... Because last time um, I didn't dare to use the cleaner I use now because I was scared it would do something because I didn't know it was good. And then some friends of me told me that I could use it and this is the first time I used it. So uh, I was a bit nervous if it would damage her at all but she seems completely fine luckily besides i only used it a bit here and a tiny little bit in the back so if it would do anything um i would see it immediately but um yeah it's best to you to if you're not sure if a product product is good for your fur just look it up on the internet but also if you have a scrap piece of fur, use it on that first. Don't be an idiot like me. But I was like 90% sure it was good. So other than that, I'm just going to comb her, spruce her up a little bit. And then she'll, she'll be almost ready for the con. Now I'm going to spritz her a bit with fursuit cleaning spray. Not a lot though. I don't want to completely soak her, but get a bit of that spray on there. This particular fursuit spray is safe to use on the outside of a fursuit. I've asked for that. I've asked if it was okay. Uh, not all fursuit cleaners are for the outside of the suit, so you gotta check with that. And once it's kind of sprayed, I'm gonna comb this. And then she's nice and disinfected. There we go. Rika is nice and dry. Just some light brushing and she'll be done kind of to get the fur in the right shape. I'm super happy. Look how adorable she is. God, I love Rika so much. So <laughs> that's just... <laughs> okay, so you can see right here is where the dark 
patch of sand was in the fur that has luckily disappeared and also in her neck uh the neck floof itself was full of of sand and that's all out of it so she smells super nice she's super clean and ready for not one conve convention but two i am going to comic con a uh, belgium comic con literally <laughs> um three days from now so no, two days. I forgot what which day it was. So, on the day of recording, it's two days, and then I'll be at Comic Con as Rika, and then the 9th and 10th of November, uh, I'm at a Belgian furry convention, flu for the first time. So, it's all, it's an actual all inclusive furry convention, which is gonna be really cool. There you go. All nice and clean, and all nice and blue, most importantly. This nice paw, all nice and uh, and crispy. Please press your fursuit. <laughs>